I guess it's completely obtuse right-wing personality day here at uh, the Takedown with Cliff Schechter. Um, today, uh, a little bit earlier, we had the ravings of the always intelligent Tim Pool. You may not know who Tim Pool is. Um, it seems like we just talked about Jordan Peterson. It's YouTube personality day here. Um, Tim Pool is a guy who started off on the Occupy movement on the left. He's a great sort of example of the horseshoe theory. Um, you know, resentful, chip on his shoulder, I'm sure racist, misogynist, socially uh, conservative, and, and did the, the fun Glenn Greenwald move and is now on the right. Easy gravy train, too. Lots of rubes to fall to uh, fool and he's got a, you know a big a big youtube person a youtube big youtube following because of it today he showed his absolute ignorance yet again um he's done many stupid things in the past and of course he loves kyle rittenhouse and he's that kind of guy he's a dude bro right the dude bros in the left often end up on the right and there's no shock to anybody but today he showed his his vast knowledge and why he should be commenting on subjects like abortion he tweeted out, what happens if a woman is on the way to get an abortion at eight months but goes into labor in the lobby of the abortion clinic? I should not. And accidentally del delivers the baby before it could be terminated. Okay. As somebody who sat on the boards of some Planned Parenthoods and has worked with NARAL and numerous other pro-choice groups, um, but is just like a, a human being with like a cerebral cortex with a, you know, that's functioning and... Uh, <laughs> is still connected, neurons still firing, I've read a few books here and there. Let me try to explain the woman's body to Tim Pool, who I'm guessing ended up where he did because he's not seen enough of it. Um, you see, with under Roe versus Wade, you can't get an abortion in eight months. No doctor will perform an abortion in eight months. The only time there are late-term abortions, the rights made up terms like partial birth or something, like women are rushing to get abortions. You know, hey, today I think I'll go out and get a latte at eight and a half months and then I'll abort a baby. Um, if a woman is going to die, if a woman is going to have grave health uh, effects on her, then some late-term abortions can be uh, performed. And not even in every state. Um, when it comes to the health of the woman. But nobody is, nobody is allowed to, and no doctors would perform an abortion that late. You see, Roe versus Wade sets this up as the first two trimesters. Like, this is common knowledge. You can read this. So someone won't be on their way to get an abortion at eight months. Hey, come on in. Let's abort the eight-month baby. And then, poop, it pops out. And they're like, Quack. what do we do now? This doesn't happen. And if Tim Pools is f***ing stupid on every other topic, which I'm going to guess he is, as he is on abortion... And people are listening to him again, kind of like they're listening to Joe Rogan and kind of like they're listening to Jordan Peterson and Tucker Carlson and Glenn Greenwald. This is why we've all become so stupid and why we have to answer stupid people all the time. Um, I don't know what his deal is. He, he wears a hat over his head like he's Kenny in South Park all the time. There's some people saying it's because he's bald. I, I don't know if he's he may be covering up sort of a lobotomy. I'm not I'm not sure what's going on there. But he doesn't know anything about abortion. He shouldn't be trusted on the subject and really shouldn't be trusted on any subject. Um, I just, I, I can't sort of stress how important this is. Women are not getting late term abortions. It isn't allowed unless there is someone who's going to die. Okay. Um, women are getting abortions. The, the Almost all of them are first trimester when you, a baby couldn't live outside of a woman's body. And once it gets close to the point uh, of viability, a lot we don't perform them anymore. This really isn't difficult, okay? So I know you, Tim Pool, want to force a woman to carry a rapist's baby, or, or you know, someone who commits incest against her, or just you know, destroy her economic mobility or her self-esteem or anything else about her by forcing her to become your personal baby container. But you could try to do that by actually arguing facts. Even if you're too stupid to be able to realize what they are, they're out there. You can go read them. Um, and this is the kind of disinformation we have to all fight because this is what gets people who otherwise would say, you know, are basically pro-choice to, to say, oh my God, they're performing abortions at like the ninth month. It's also, by the way, Bill O'Reilly used to say these things. It's what gets people to go and shoot a, a, a abortion doctors and blow up clinics. So it's also a, a, another form of terrorism, like great replacement theory. That's Tim Fool. I called him Tim Fool. That should be his name. That's Tim Pool for you. He is a fool. Don't listen to anything he says.